gonna see what we find out there. Hopefully large lobsters, large calico bass, maybe a sea bass or two, maybe some halibut. It's a beautiful day. I think we're gonna have good luck out there. Thanks Andy, this is Isla Vista. It's always enjoyed a thriving healthy kelp bed even during many El Nino years. We swam about a quarter mile out and as you can see the giant kelp is very thick and heavy this year. We're taking a dive down, holding our breath down to 40 feet. And as you can see the kelp is attached to a nice rock on the bottom that's got lots of ledges and flat area for the kelp to attach. Lots of critters in there, sea urchins, lobster, fish. Oop, now we're moonwalking. There's a lobster under the hold fast. That's quite a large hold fast. And then breaking the surface to catch some air. And as you can see in areas that don't have hard bottom, it's empty mud for the most part. Just like in the nearby Goleta Bay, which used to have a massive kelp forest, but is now gone because the hard bottom is covered by sand and soot. There's a couple lobsters hanging out, a little bit shallower water. Since this was turned into a marine protected area in 2012, there appears to be a few more lobsters and they're certainly much more relaxed. That's some beautiful red algae. Surfers like it too. Here we are in shallower with the iridescent green seagrass and another lobster crawling out of the seagrass. Here's one eating a purple sea urchin which is very important because the purple sea urchin barons kill the kelp and if you have a lot of lobsters they can attenuate the sea urchin barons. Here's two hanging out. Looks like mama and papa. There is a kelp fish. It looks like an eel, but it's not. It's a fish. They just love that seagrass. The Fish Reef Project, founded in 2012, is here to create thriving kelp forests in California and coral reefs across the world. Here is a school of white sea bass in shallow off of Isla Vista. The two on the right are well over legal size. Beautiful fish. They're probably males. They come in every year during the spring to seek females and to spawn. And you can hear them croaking. It's kind of a er, er, er sound. And they rub their muscles on an air bladder near their stomach. And they have huge ear bones so they can hear each other croak from long dis distances. When I was a kid, there were very few white sea bass. And now they're plentiful. And it shows that good fisheries management does work. But that's only part of the equation. You have to increase and enhance areas of the ocean that are currently vapid and have low productivity like Goleta Bay. Goleta Bay can be a thriving cornucopia of life just like you see off of Isla Vista. We just have to add material to the seafloor to give the marine life somewhere to grab onto and thrive and grow, especially the kelp forest that used to be there. They're just such an elegant, beautiful fish. I could watch them all day long. This fish gets over 100 pounds and roams all the way from, oh, about the Oregon border down to the middle of Baja or even around past Cabo San Lucas at times. Here's the fish reef crew. We're a dedicated group of volunteers and when we make the reef off Goleta it will look something like this and in a couple years you'll have a thriving kelp forest full of life once again. But we need folks to step up and donate and help the project out and we'll get there. Thank you very much. Thank you for watching.